Hi, I'm uh, down at the shed again today. Mike and I came down here yesterday and installed the uh, circuit board in the pinball machine. It's been reprogrammed for all of the back lights just to see how they worked. Uh, we only had a few minutes, uh, so we didn't film anything then, but I wanted to get a quick uh, snapshot of this so you guys could see it. Uh, we have a couple of problems. I'm uh, just going to show you those. And then I'm going to pull the card out, take it back home, and reprogram it. So, uh, real quickly, let me spin the camera around and show you the table. I'll go ahead and uh, turn on the box. Excuse the camera jiggling. And I'll step back so you can see it come on. And you can... You can see that all the lights in the back box are lighting up now. I don't know if you can tell uh, in my uh, uh, video here, but uh, you can definitely tell that these LEDs are suffering from lack of voltage. Obviously, uh, uh, we need to put in uh, more uh, power wires. Uh, th that plan is always there. So let me show you the two problems uh, that we've seen so far. Down here at the bottom, uh, th both those lights should be on. And the problem is I'm turning the left light on twice and I'm not turning the right light on ever because I uh, put the wrong number in the matrix. Uh, so I can fix that very easily. And the other thing that is still here is the problem I showed you the other day um, where the same player shoots again light down here on the play field uh, is still turned on. And I've looked at the code and it all looks perfect to me. So this one's going to take a little bit to... Uh, uh, of troubleshooting. Uh, so there's a couple of other things. Uh, if we pick up the, the lid here and look underneath, uh, you can maybe make out, I don't know if you can or not, but that light is red. And I programmed that light to be red, which tends to tell me uh, that it's the correct LED in my matrix. If I turn on the test light, it blinks from the the computer is blinking the light which means it's a controlled LED from the computer uh, so I'm really confused about why that light is uh, is not working properly but uh, uh, we actually have a plan already to fix it uh, and that is that I wonder why the game over lights don't blink right now that's interesting I didn't notice that before either uh, so uh, and I don't know if you can see, but as these blink, all the lights turn yellow. That's that's a voltage sag problem, and that should be fixed when we add the additional power lines at the middle and beginning of these strings. Uh, so that is all I'm going to show you today. I'm going to turn off the video, remove the card from the back, and take it home. i reprogram the things that I know are wrong, and uh, then we'll go from there. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Uh, so uh, I got distracted by the fact that the uh, uh, game over light uh, was uh, not turning on uh, and I forgot to mention what our potential solution to uh, the uh, same player shoots again problem is. Uh, th this computer actually has two outputs from it or I should say the, the pinball machine MPU has two, outpu two outputs that turn on same player shoots again lights. One turns on a light on the play field and the other one turns on two lights on the back glass. So I already uh, copy one of those over to light the second LED and all I need to do is copy it to light the third LED and it should work fine. Uh, so uh, uh, this is a, a solution but it doesn't explain to me why we have the problem. So I, I, I want to try and troubleshoot this before I fall to that, uh, um, that fix uh, because it might be masking some other problem in the code uh, that I, I should find. Uh, so I'm not going to just take the easy way out uh, right now and copy it. I'm going to uh, keep looking uh, for the source of this light being turned on. Uh, it's probably something simple and stupid like most uh, bugs are in early development code. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye.